Hey everybody, uh, Don here again. It is um, it is Wednesday, October thirty first, Halloween, and so far to date, I have posted one hunting video, and it's not for lack of wanting to get out. Uh, obviously, work has kept me busy, but I've uh, I've actually been experiencing some health issues that have really precluded me getting up into the hills. Uh, I tried to keep it hidden hoping that I could uh, get my Missouri bow hunt in uh, before I had it looked after, but it's uh, it's become apparent to me that I have to get this taken care of before I go. Um, so I finally told my wife about it, and uh, and she uh, she's very understanding of how much I love hunting, but, um, you know, for her benefit uh, and my own, uh, I'm getting it looked after. So I was at the doctor's yesterday. Uh, did some EKG work and stuff and said, yeah, we definitely got to get a stress test in you. And then he said he's about 99% sure they'll transfer me down to Concord and uh, we'll do an angiogram and probably put in a stent or two. Procedures now are, uh, are really quite advanced. Uh, luckily, they go in through your arm and not your groin like they used to, so the recovery time is really quick. And he says... Do the operation on one day, spend one night in the hospital, home the next day, and within two days I should be good to go. So hopefully we're getting this all taken care of uh, Thursday or Friday. Uh, spend the weekend relaxing at home. Miss out on the muzzleloader opener, but um, that's all right. I'm on vacation for three weeks. Uh, so maybe I'll get a chance to get out with the muzzle on Monday or Tuesday before me and Bobby leave for our, our Missouri trip on Thursday. So today I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to switch my cards out over here at the food plot out back, and I'm going to put my cameras in video mode. Uh, so maybe get this 10-pointer uh, that's back here making some scrapes. Maybe I'll get him on video while I'm, while I'm laid up. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll get a shot at him when I come back. So hang out. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, but I promise you there's going to be some good hunting videos to come, especially in Missouri. And uh, it should be good. So stick with us. So I'm going to go up here and pull this camera out. and uh, see if they've been hitting that scrape. If they have, I'll leave it, and I'll go move my third camera. Right. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it looks like it's, it's been used. I'm gonna pull that card. I'm gonna leave that camera there. Let me check this out. Yeah, so. Here's the other scrape they've been using for the last couple of years. I don't really see a definitive track in it, but we'll know when we check the camera. This is the area that the deer wiped out the food plot before it ever even really had a chance to grow. And last year I thought this was for sure the most likely spot to get a big buck. I got pictures of the pig in this food plot three days before I killed him. All right, so I changed that camera. I set it up to 10 second videos every 15 seconds. I poured a little of this uh, buck, uh, pre-rut buck lure. This is the North Country Common Sense. So now I'm gonna go back to the house. I really wanted to uh, doctor up this uh, this scrape in front of my stand which I am gonna but I gotta go get another camera oh, crap. there's a deer right in there on the other side of the pond he just walked off you know this is the time and I, I should be sitting in a friggin tree stand instead of working on cameras but oh well all right so I had the camera right there on that beach and I had it pointed at this uh, this rubbing tree that I put a rubbing post, I guess. <laughs> and in the last week or so, I mean, that has, this food plot is being pounded 
there's um, there's three bucks that have been walking down through here now. I don't know if that deer I just saw out there was one of them or not. But uh, the batteries on that camera were low. And I had it set on regular flash. And, uh, and picture mode. And I got a, just a boatload of pictures. So... I've got the uh, the right stuff to spray on this this scrape over here they made. I should be up in that tree stand. I don't know what I'm doing, except I'm going in for surgery tomorrow, so I really can't do much about that. So uh, this is the tree they've been rubbing. I think I'm going to put the camera on that yellow birch right there. It's probably the close. I was going to put it over there, but this is probably the closest tree. And that way, if they're coming out of this trail. My tree stands right there. I'll get some good video of them. Hopefully, I'll get some video of them here on that uh, on that uh, on that scrape right there, licking that branch. I'm gonna put this camera down and I'm gonna put this uh, put this camera right on this tree. All right, hang out. All right, I got the camera right there. The scrape is right here. I'm gonna pour some dopey in there some forehead gland on that branch and then get back out of here okay well I just walked back in from changing the cameras around and you know I, I put them on video mode and I uh, freshened up the batteries and I put some fresh uh, uh, deer lure on those scrapes as I was going out to the pond there was a deer on the other side of the pond that kind of took off he didn't bolt and flag but I just saw him kind of trot off so I couldn't see what it was, but when I pulled those cards from those cameras that had been out there a little over a week and loaded with buck pictures. Back at the upper scrape up above and at the uh, at the licking tree or whatever you want to call it, the rubbing tree with the licking branch that I uh, that I put up next to the pond. So looked like there's a nice 10 pointer going through there. It's kind of an eight or a nine pointer. Uh, looks like there's another eight pointer. I think up on the back camera I got pictures of that cool looking 10 that I'm hoping to get a shot at. Uh, we'll have to see. I'll, um, when I post this video I'll include a whole bunch of those pictures. Well I'm back. It is uh, it's Thursday, November 1st. Uh, like I said yesterday, today I was going in for a stress test and, and possibly uh, uh, a procedure to put in a stent. Um, had the stress test, failed it uh, miserably as expected, um, and it looks like I'm probably going to get a couple of stents. Uh, they couldn't get me in this afternoon, so we're getting up early and we're heading down to Concord about 6 a.m. tomorrow, and it'll be the first one in. And we'll get that taken care of. Uh, I told all of the doctors and the nurses as well that I had to get this thing done right away because uh, I had a hunting trip coming to Missouri. Uh, the first Asian guy said, no, no adventure, no adventure. <laughs> I said, yeah, adventure. Uh, the second guy was a Middle Eastern guy, and he just kind of shook his head and said, is it that important to you? And I said, absolutely it is. Looked over at my wife, and she said, no, I'm trying to talk him out of it. It's pretty much useless. So uh, they all squeezed me in uh, as quick as they could. I'll have the procedure tomorrow morning. Be in the hospital one day. Uh, be home in time for uh, uh, maybe squeezing in a day of muzzleloader before I head to Missouri. But Bobby and I are planning to uh, head to Missouri Thursday. Uh, for the rifle opener, I was going to take my bow with me, but eh, given the circumstances, maybe I'll just gun hunt. It's the rifle season after all. And uh, yeah, so God willing, they'll find nothing more than uh, uh, that I need a couple stints tomorrow when they get inside me. But uh, uh, that's the situation. And um, I'll just say one thing. Pay attention to what your body's telling you, because I was going to try to push this off until I got back. But it became apparent to me that that was not a good idea. And as stubborn as I can be, I uh, didn't want to be my last act uh, dragging a big buck out of the woods. So 
Uh, pay attention to what your body's telling you. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you on the other side of, uh, of this. Thanks for watching. Look in the back. We've been fasting since last night. I've been fasting since last night. Karen hasn't. And so we're going to Five Guys for lunch. Could be my last burger before I start a heart-healthy diet. Might as well make it a good one. Right? Sure. That's it. Five Guys.